awesome with building culture. I wanted to show you a new product I've discovered that I've recently started incorporating into my buildings. It's called Glass Fiber Reinforced Polymer, or GFRP for short. And this is a piece of GFRP rebar. What's awesome about this stuff, this is three quarter inch, and you can see I can pick it up easily with one hand. It has twice the tensile strength of steel, weighs 75% less, barely costs anymore, and the kicker is it doesn't corrode. And when you're reinforcing masonry buildings, that's a really important part because steel rusts and masonry, brick and mortar, they carry water, they're permeable. So when you put steel into a masonry building, the steel rusts. And the problem with that is that when steel rusts, it can actually expand up to four times its original size. And so when that happens, it blows out the, the walls, it blows out the masonry walls. So I've been trying to figure out how to reinforce my walls without compromising life cycle or durability. And so I was doing a lot of reading and research and you know, there's galvanized rebar and there's stainless steel rebar and there's epoxy rebar. Um, the problem with galvanized rebar is galvanized coating eventually uh, dissolves. And with the epoxy rebar, if you get one scratch in it, the entire steel, if you get one scratch in the epoxy coating, the entire steel piece can rust. Um, and then stainless steel rebar is like $130 a piece versus you know this, which is $23 a piece. Um, so stainless steel just isn't practical uh, for larger applications. Right now, I'm only putting it in my masonry walls, which in the next video, I'll show you what I'm doing to reinforce my walls. But I'd eventually like to replace the rebar, the regular steel rebar I'm putting in my footings with this stuff, um, just because it's gonna last a lot longer. Thanks for watching.